saying, Ray, is that Jamal had a point. On the top of his head. No, the emphasis on winning over everything else tends to exacerbate the dangers of boxing. What is that supposed to mean? Is that because I said kill him? This is lingo. This is what I'm talking about. When I said kill him, I, I, you know, I mean hit him. Win. I'm not at kill him. No, no, Detective I Vecchio? That. I know that. And I'm certainly not trying to suggest that you were encouraging a homicide. Guys. Guys. He was a good kid. I mean, he wasn't trying to kill anybody. I mean, they, you box, you get hurt. That is just par for the course. Well, if that's the case, then perhaps protective helmets would be a good idea. Are you booking these guys or are they just part of some colorful parade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're booking them. Helmet? <laughs> Come on, Fraser, you're not serious about this helmet thing. Well, why not? Because it's the sweet science. Boom, boom, boom. It's an art. You put a helmet on an artist, well, I think. No, but artists don't tend to get hit in the head on a regular basis. Oh, <laughs> you know, it's widely rumored that Hieronymus Bosch used to repeatedly bang his skull into his easel to stimulate his vision. I love that, but think about auto racing. I mean, they make it safe. What is the point? What are you saying? That, that the point is the danger? No, boxing is the point. Danger is just a part of it. Well, you know, if they wore protective helmets, it would minimize the danger. You are so, so, so mm, Canadian. It's just logic, right? Logic, exactly. Boxing has nothing to do with logic. It is sport taken to its purest nut. It is muscles, sweat, guts, torque, load. I mean, you ever meet a logical person who would bite off another man's ear? This is another argument for protective helmets with ear flaps. You admit that I'm right or I'll pop you in the head. We're not dealing with logic now, are we? Logic's logic. Admit I'm right or I'll pop you. Oh, well, gee, in that case, Ray, I guess you're right. Thank you very much. Bond's got a buddy up on uh, Vacuum Street. You mean Hoover? Hoover Street. It's going to be a long night. <laughs>